Hi, right. welcome to the gray area. My name's Sean. This is Miguel. Miguel Alejandro Gomez. Gomez Vera. Uh, yes, that's correct. Almonte, you know what I'm saying. And today we're going to be talking about <laughs> something good, something bad. I don't know. It's not bad. But... Okay, so basically, they added a new character on Sesame Street with autism, and which is great. Now. It, the reason they did it is um, basically so, you know, people can, kids can grow up with the new, you know, just tolerance for people they don't know or are different from them, right? Absolutely, yeah. And that's, that's which is awesome, and that's the goal of the character, right? That's, or that's the goal of the character to, and um, or for the reason is in the show. The character's name is Julia. And she does things like that are that are slight indicators of autism, like she'll say, she, like when people get happy for something, she'll get super like extremely happy and jump around and get excited. And they're like, "Well, why do they? Why does she do that?" And Big Bird will, well, you know, Big Bird. Everyone knows Big Bird from Sesame Street. He'll go and say, "Well, she's different from everyone else," but in a good way, obviously, because right, right, being different. Right. This is not supposed to be derogatory in any yeah, and, shape or form. Yeah, and the way that they're trying to take on showing a character like this is uh it's pretty good actually i i think that it's nice and i think that it sh it would get good reviews like it'll be what I, I think it's good because it'll because a lot of kids or a lot of parents don't really know how to don't possess the parenting skills to be like when their kid comes home and there's like oh there's a kid that has this wrong with them or this ailment or this kind of thing with them explain that to me and they don't un they don't understand it so watching tv they can grow up with it that way when they're set into that environment they could be like okay i've already seen this before you know what i'm saying so yeah i mean personally i know how it feels to have a family member who's special needs um i my aunt is special needs and and my brother not too bad but he, you know he's he's got that too and honestly, it doesn't change who they are. They're still they're still great people. They're they're it doesn't change them in any way, at least in my opinion. Right. And there's so many different forms of autism in and of itself. There's no there's no there's no perfect way to describe someone who has it because it's right. different for everyone. Right. Right. Um, yeah, they, some of the smartest people on this planet have some sort like a lot of them have some type of autism. Mm-hmm. You know? Um, they went on 60 Minutes, uh, the people who added, uh, Julia, and the, they said that the big discussion right at the start was, how do we do this? How do we talk about autism? And I think from what I, from what I've seen, like I saw little snippets of it, I think that they've, they've put it in there pretty well, showing how how it is without being like blatant about it They're, it's hinting at it right. and honestly just it teaches kids to that just because someone's different it doesn't mean you should well, alienate them you. yeah just because someone's different from you doesn't mean you should alienate them in any way right and it's it's inclusion it's, it's teaching people how to be tolerant at a very young age because you're more you're more impressionable when you're young and you learn more you learn your life skills and how you're going to be as a person when you're really young. And this is a crucial time. I mean, kids, you know, so. they even showed uh, death in Sesame Street. Uh, you know Mr. Hooper? I, I don't. I, well, I watched it a lot as a kid. And they showed Mr. Hooper, like, die. But it was, like, an older, a really old episode, like, 1980-something, 1983. And they showed him die, and they, 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 the way they explained it was very uh, relaxing in a way that, like, it wasn't blatant and showing right in your face, oh, they're dead. Right, because it's just like coping with death, you know, that's, that's what that, because there's a lot of different, you know, skills that these kind of programs teach kids it so they're prepared for the real world, you know, so. Um, other, yeah, other ways. I, when I. Yes. Oh, you can go first. I um I didn't watch Sesame Street a whole lot. I mean, I did when I was really young, so I never really had anything like that. But I 
had a lot of people die when I was in, like, starting, like, second-ish, third grade. I just had a lot of family die from, mostly from, you know, cigarettes and uh, lung problems, grandmother from emphysema. So that was a really, like, I learned to cope with death through experience, and it was a lot harder because I just had no idea, like, how to deal with it. And it struck me when, like, I would go to my grandmother's house and she would be there and just like, oh, my God, this is horrible. Like, I don't, you know? Yeah. But it's great that now they have an outlet for, like, oh, that makes sense. So that way it's a little bit of a cushion if it happens to them, a family member dies, something like that, you know, so they somewhat know what to do so they're not how I was, which is kind of just like. Yeah, I I understand. Um, I mean, they even show different, like, another thing that they show that kind of hints at it is, um, Julia will ignore some of the characters, and, and that kind of hints at it, so, Big Bird, um, what was it? It was Big Bird talking to this character named Stahl, um, about his first interaction with Julia, and he thought that she didn't like him because she ignored him, but Big Bird was just like, she she does things a little bit differently to than us. Right. And, I mean, even the mom, or not the mom, but, like, the person playing the puppet, or the Muppet, her, um, her, she's a parent of a kid uh, with autism. Really? Yeah. So I feel like she would know how to do this, and I think it'd be more understandable, she would know exactly how to um, show how it is. I I don't feel like it'd be appropriate for anybody else to play a character like that, unless you know exactly what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. You know, especially if you're trying to be, if you're trying to teach somebody something, I feel like you need to have experience when you're trying to teach something, and whatever you're trying to teach. Yeah, that's that's very true. Right. And um, I'm on Fox News and I'm on CNN because that's what we do. We go on both of them and see what's up. But they seem to be saying the exact same thing, you know. Um, you know, because this is far right and far left. Mm-hmm. You know, they tend to disagree with each other, but this is one thing they can kind of find a common ground because it's not really political. It's more of a you know, this is really good for everybody. Yeah, I mean, Fox the, you know, for some, the same thing. for some yeah. people, it'd be it'd be more like, why are you adding this character? They haven't added a new character in Sesame Street for a long, like a long time, and they'd be like, why are you adding this character? You're just going to cause controversy. And, and that's one thing. And a lot of people are just going to hate about something. And, you know, you can see people, for example, they'll say, like, oh, you're just pointing out all the stereotypes. That's bad. You shouldn't do that, you know. When in actuality, that's one platform. That's one of the only platforms where you should do something like that is when you're trying to educate kids that are really young, you know what I mean? Like, and they didn't that's have... Perfect, that's a perfect... Um, sorry, I uh, didn't mean to interrupt, but they didn't have, like, in like malicious intentions like they were like right. yeah we're gonna cause a giant controversy they're like maybe people should be more they should recognize this more right right because a lot of people know of autism but don't know about autism mm-hmm. especially kids but a lot of grown adults and teenagers have no idea what it is they just think somebody is just kind of off mm-hmm. you know so they're uninformed yeah. uh, they're right. clearly uninformed um, but overall, I think this is a, a, a step in the right direction with spreading the word about that. You know what I mean? Right. I agree. <clears throat> I agree. So. Yeah. And, uh, gonna get into the political stuff before we go? Uh, I, I think this is good enough. I guess, show us a little bit of the other article. Uh, everybody knows about this. Uh, Trump's approval rating is was at a 37% low. I think it's at 39 now, which is still kind of whatever. But it says the worst in 72 years of polling for a young presidency, which is just a nice way of saying 
it, it's it's an exaggerated way of saying it's low. You know, like people like to add all these fancy words to add more emphasis to a claim. Mm-hmm. It says young presidency, which means probably like I'm sure there's I don't know actually I don't know who has had a lower mm-hmm. approval rating, but I I remember that it was it was uh, one of the lowest approval ratings for a long time. You know, losing a lot of support. Right, he is. I mean, now, I mean, the, the Trump care bill got frozen in the Senate, so it's, yeah. So that just kind of makes it seem like he's not going to get reelected after his four years are up. Oh, yeah, that wasn't, I, that probably wasn't an option, regardless. But, I well, mean, you know what, and I still, to this day, like, I still wish him the best because, obviously, I don't, I don't want the captain of the ship to die because if that happens then we all die you know because that would just be ignorant for somebody to wish negativity on somebody i mean why would you want the president to fail because that's just kind of dumb i agree at a lot of people mm-hmm. well all the links will be posted down below uh the sesame street and the trump's approval rating um i think that's it for today this is, we've been your hosts, Sean and Miguel, Alejandro, Gomez Vera. Almonte. Yep. Have a great day. See you later.